So where do our rights actually come from? Now, I find this to be an appropriate topic for, you know, the unprecedented situation that we're in in the world. And uh, it's a topic that I never really thought about when I was following politics closely or I never really heard discussed that much. And if somebody would have asked me, I probably would have said, you know, our rights come from the Constitution or the government elected officials, etc. And I would have been wrong on all those. Our rights actually come from a basic fundamental assumption and it's written down in the Declaration of Independence. And it says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Obviously, the key word there is creator, and they're not talking about your parents. Now, obviously, I'm an outspoken Christian, and in my atheist days, I would have said, what does that have to do with Jesus Christ? It just says creator. It doesn't say anything about Jesus. And that was something that was never explained to me in my atheist days. So I'm going to take the time and explain it to you straight from the scriptures. Now the main scripture I'm going to be reading from is John 1. Now I'm not going to read straight through it because I want to keep these videos streamlined and condensed. I'm just going to be reading from the pertinent scriptures to this actual video's topic. So if you want to say I'm taking something out of context, I'm more than willing and happy to defend myself. So here we go. We'll start with John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by Him, and the world knew Him not. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So the name Jesus Christ refers to the incarnation and beyond, but before that he was known as the eternal word, and as the eternal word, just like the scripture says, he was the creator of all things. So in my atheist days, I would have said, if he's the creator of all things, then he should be in the book of Genesis. And he actually is, and it's one of the most important scriptures for you to understand the truth of the Bible. And it's Genesis 1, 26 and 27. And it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now that's what's known as the first Trinitarian passage in the Bible. Now those words, us and our, can only be accounted for within the Trinitarian view of God. Because nobody else is made in the image of God. Not the animals, not the angels, nobody. So I say all that to say this. I have a lot of atheist friends who are conservatives and huge supporters of the Constitution. And y'all just need to understand that as Christ goes, so do personal rights. And that was something I didn't understand when I was an atheist. And you can see it clearly in freedom of speech. Because as Christ goes, safe spaces increase, political correctness increases. Because nobody wants to hear the hard truth and nobody wants to believe that they're under eternal condemnation without the blood of Jesus Christ. So here's another hard truth. If you're new to politics and you have these rosy colored glasses thinking that the world's going to go back to the way it was before this, you are totally clueless. Because whatever this coronavirus situation is, it is without a doubt the greatest totalitarian social engineering project the world has ever seen and when it comes to politicians it has been a raving success rights only go one way if you're new to politics you don't get rights back they're only taken and these things will not be given back if you want to understand truth you need to come to this 